welcome. Um, today I'm going to show you guys how to write some simple JavaScript and how to write um, scripts using um, Word document and stuff like that. Word document, notepad, stuff like that. So the first uh, script um, JavaScript I'm going to teach you guys to write is how to make a message. So what you basically type is this right here and this will make a message box open up right here is what you want the message box to say the zero stands for if the zero stands for the zero says that um, the message box will only have an ok in it so if I want to change it to a one it will have an ok and the cancel and there are a lot of other possibilities but I'm just gonna leave it to zero the 16 stands for saying that the message box is an alarm message box that will show up uh, that will pop up with a red a circle and an X through it and that's the type of message box is gonna be and then right here is um, the title of the message box so once you do that save it uh, yeah so I already have it saved but once you do that save it as a v .vbs file and once you're done double click the file that you just made and it should look like this or but the words will be different if you want them to be and okay the next thing I'm going to teach you guys to do is how to open up a message with command prompt so all I gotta do is type at echo off pause echo whatever you want it to say I'm just gonna say hello YouTube and pause then save it as uh, I'll just save it as cmd.bat remember the .bat file then open it up and it should say hello YouTube or whatever you want it to say and then another thing that I'm going to show you guys how to do is that um, you could also send commands to your computer with JavaScript so a way that you can make your computer go faster is by typing my string equals eight with seven zeros and then just save it as a dot bat file dot bat and once you open this file right here it should um it gives your computer more ram and more ram makes um more ram will make your computer go faster so when you double click it that's all that will happen and then you just refresh your computer and it should make your computer go faster so another thing that you could do is shut down your computer with the javascript you can make a shortcut to shut down or it could be like a f little fake virus thing so go to shortcut instead of new text document and this should pop up type shut down space dash s space dash t and then 60 seconds or how many seconds you want then dash c and the message you want it to say just like it could be like a fake virus like you have been hacked and click next and just type the name for it and finish and then once you double click this will come up saying the message and it will give you how much time you wanted and the only way to turn this off is to go to run and type shut down dash a and click ok and it should stop the process and so another thing you could do is use javascripts on websites for example let's go to youtube and i'll show you two javascripts that you could use and this javascript these two javascripts work on any website not just youtube but okay let's try the first one find it uh, right here okay this first JavaScript right here just copy it and paste it after you go on YouTube or whatever website oops didn't copy it make sure it's all copied copy paste and click enter now this will cause all the photos on the website to start moving around and if you refresh the page or press back press the back button the photo should stop moving around the next JavaScript that you could use is this one this lets you 
edit out any website. It's not permanent, but it's a fun tool to use. So it looks the same, but what you could do is edit it out. Right here, let's see, type hello YouTube for instead of the home button, I could type my name, tech support gone bad. And you could mess around with the website like that. Okay, the next thing that I'm going to show you guys is that um, you could create like a lot of fake viruses with JavaScript. So I have a couple prepared for us. Um, one of them is this. It's a JavaScript that I made up. So I typed this all before you guys, or before I started this video, and this will be in the video description. So all I have to do is copy and paste. Save it as. I'll just save it as cool hack dot bat, and then the file should open up, and just double click on it, and this will come up saying, "Do you want to wipe all your computer's data? Yes or no? Let's click no." but it'll just go to the next one no matter what you type. Are you sure you want to delete all data? No. Deleting all data. And it does like the dot 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 thing so it looks like it's deleting. And then it does that and then in the end it says you have just been hacked. And then it, the system shutdown thing comes up and again you could stop that by typing shutdown dash A and run. And then just exit out. And that's a cool little hack that I made or a uh, fake virus and then another um, fake virus that you could do is let's see um, you could make a lot of fake viruses like that all you gotta do is put together the small commands that I showed you guys but th uh, this is not something to be fooled around with like if you don't really know what you're doing because you could create a real virus with this too what you do is this is a tutorial or this this will just show you guys how to make a simple virus but it, it's real so I would never use this and all I gotta do is type type at echo off and then type right here delete um, C drive dash double dash windows slash system 32 so what this will do if you save it as a dot bat file and you use it this is a command to delete your windows system 32 and I would not recommend doing that that's like really bad and you could just mess up your computer and another thing you could do as a prank and this is the last thing I'll show you guys is another JavaScript. Just open up a new text document and you could disable the user's mouse, you could disable their keyboard, and what this is a prank that you could pull on someone's computer. Ty all you gotta do is type at echo off and then type run dll32 user mouse disable and then run dll32 use user keyboard disable and then if you use that your mouse and keyboard won't work at all and and something that you could do to add to the amusement is type run and then type a random website and right now I'm just going to type myspace but um, you could the funniest thing to do is run a porn website and the user can't do anything about it because their mouse or keyboard is disabled but since this is YouTube I'm gonna keep it clean and just say run myspace com then once you save it as save it as something like prank dot bat and then once you open that the the mouse and the keyboard will be disabled and then the website that you wanted will pop up and it's it's a fun prank so I'm here to show you guys that you could do a lot of things with JavaScript. 
Um, you could just go ahead and have some fun with it, but be careful because you could do you could also do some serious.